475 horsepower and 1,050 foot-pound of torque. You heard that right, 1,050 foot-pound of torque. Hey guys, it's Austin at Hunt Ford Chrysler in Franklin, Kentucky. I've got the much anticipated 2020 Super Duty. This is an F450 Limited. This is the nicest truck Ford manufactures. This truck clocks in at $94,515. This is the best of the best. The absolutely most capable truck Ford makes and the most luxurious at the same time. This 2020 model has been much anticipated for a lot of different reasons. It's got this new front clip. It's got a new rear clip. It's got an updated interior, but most importantly, it's got an updated 6.7 liter power stroke turbo diesel motor coupled with a 10 speed transmission. This motor or this truck in general is capable of 475 horsepower and 1,050 foot pound of torque. You heard that right, 1,050 foot pound of torque. That is the biggest amount of torque you can possibly get in a truck this size. Uh, Dodge or Ram just came out with their high output Cummins, which is rated at 1,000 foot-pound of torque, so naturally Ford had to go above and beyond and beat them. Upon first inspection, you see this new front clip, got a completely new grill, completely new headlights that I think kind of favor the aftermarket segment that you would see um, in the 17-year body style, you know, 17, 18, 19. Really, really like it. Much bigger grill. It's going to let a lot more air flow through from what I can tell. I think it looks slick. 19 and a half inch Alcoas, just like last year. I'll let you take a look at the back of this truck. Do have an updated rear clip. You can see the Super Duty is embossed into here now. The year prior, it was under that. I'll let you take a look at this interior and you guys can tell me what you think. Uh, the year prior, it was called Camelback. Now it's called Highland Tan. Let's see what you think. I'm a little bit more partial to the previous year's interior color. This color is a little bit black, blacker than the previous year. Last year it was tan. This kind of center color here in the middle seems to be the same. So here we are on the interior of the 2020 F450 Limited. I want to show you guys some new features on this truck. I want to talk to you about some mechanical features that have changed. There's a lot going on. You know, a lot of people have anticipated this truck. One, because they knew Ram was coming out with a more powerful high output Cummins motor. The big mechanical thing with these trucks <clears throat> They've got the new 6.7 liter. I mean, it's still a 6.7 liter power stroke that it's always been, but you know, this is the mid-model refresh, and they kind of tweak things a little bit. So they've tweaked the turbos a little bit, from my understanding. Uh, they've changed the fuel system to a 36,000 PSI fuel system. Uh, so that's putting out more power out of a power stroke motor out of the factory than it ever has before. Like I said, 475 horsepower, 1,050 foot-pound of torque. So this is like a class-leading powerhouse of a truck in this segment. I mean, it doesn't get any more powerful than it is right now. So with that big motor also comes a new 10-speed transmission. So a lot of people assume that that 10-speed transmission is the same one that's in the F-150. Well, the reality of it is it's not. Uh, it's my understanding that this 10-speed transmission was uh, researched and developed in-house at Ford. I haven't seen a press release that says that, but I've read a lot of people that do say that. So, you know, if you read it on the internet, it's got to be true. So, uh, you got a new 10 speed transmission. And I'll say, driving these trucks, I've got a pretty good amount of wheel time in these trucks. And it's really interesting driving in the 10 speed versus the previous transmission. Um, you know, you're going to get better fuel economy out of this truck. You know, basically, you think about it, if there were six speeds back then, you know, that's four more gears. And a lot of those are. My understanding that there's three overdrive gears, you know, uh, 8, 9, and 10. Basically, that's just going to let your truck run at a lower RPM and help get you better fuel economy. It is interesting feeling the transmission change. You know, it's going to be some things that people are going to have to get used to is the shift point 
in these trucks because you can definitely tell a difference. You know, I mean, it's snapping through gears quicker. You know, this isn't a transmission that has to go one, two, three, four, five. I mean, it can go from two to four, four to six, six to nine, you know. Um, so it feels good, you know, driving it. I was, I was impressed with it. A massive amount of power, torque, acceleration. I was really happy with it. A lot of people say, well, I'm scared to death of that new 10 speed, yada, yada, yada. People said the same thing about the 17s when the all aluminum body came out. Turns out it was a hit, and this 10 speed's probably going to be the same way. Um, I think it's really cool. So, mechanically, that's the biggest difference, in my opinion. You know, they've still got a 430 rear end. Um, they're ready to tow a little bit more than they were last year, not by a lot, but. Um, it, it depends on how you're towing, you know, gooseneck, it didn't change a whole lot. It depends on your cab configuration, a lot of different things. A regular cab for, or 350 is rated to tow more than like a crew cab, for instance. But, um, you know, if you've got questions about that, you can contact me and I can tell you, you know, what your tow rating is and all that good stuff. <clears throat> I'm going to start this truck because I'm a big boy and it's hot. So, cooled seats right here. Nice. Turn this down a little. Turn this radio off. Uh, so basically some things I want to go over is the new SYNC 4. This is the biggest difference that you're going to see right off the bat. Um, they've upgraded this user interface here. I think it's a little bit snappier than what it was in the previous iteration. You know, basically they've redone the look of this, you know, user interface. I think it's a little bit more intuitive. Um, it's a little bit easier on the eyes. It's not as bright. Um, I like it. Got a lot of different options here. Most of the same stuff that were in the previous iteration. You can control your seats, you know, massage, heat, cool, all that good stuff. Another neat thing coming down here a little bit, there is actually a wireless charging pad down here now. They have introduced that in the expeditions and stuff like that. I've got it in the Super Duties now, so all you have to do if your phone supports it, you can just set it right here, and it'll just wirelessly charge your phone. You don't have to do anything. They've also got a USB Type-C port here. A lot of the new cell phone manufacturers are going to the USB Type-C. I guess it charges your phone faster, so you're starting to see that adopted more and more. Over here to the left, you've got this Pro Trailer Backup Assist. So this is something new that they're offering in the Super Duties. They've offered it in the F-150s. Basically what you do is you connect your trailer to your truck and you program your truck to you know, understand how long your trailer is, so on and so forth. So when you're backing your trailer up or your boat going down the boat ramp, if you don't wanna control the wheel, you can actually come down here and turn this knob. So if you turn this knob to the left, it's actually gonna take your trailer and bring it to the left. The further you turn it to the right, it's going to bring your trailer to the right. You do not have to touch the steering wheel. It, the truck turns the wheel on its own. So all you have to do is control the gas and the brake, control how hard of an angle you want that trailer to shift. It's going to do it. It's really intelligent. It's for the weekend warrior. A lot of guys will say, well, if you're buying a truck like that, or girls will say, if you're buying a truck like that, you should be able to back your own trailer up. The fact of the matter is it's a luxury vehicle. It's going to come with these luxury features that you don't normally see. So that's something that's cool that they've integrated. Another thing I like about this truck is this adaptive steering, right? So if you look right here under this steering wheel, it's kind of hard to see. If the steering wheel has this piece right here, it's going to have adaptive steering. And this was the biggest thing that I could tell just bebopping around the parking lot, moving this truck around. You know, these 450s are huge. They turn pretty tight for a truck this size, but now that they've integrated this, I swear it is so easy to turn the wheel. And when you want to turn the wheel to the right, it actually turns the wheels even a little bit further at slow speed. So it's going to let you basically turn more like you're on a dime. You know, you the joke back in the day, you needed an acre to turn one of these trucks around. And now, you know, you can really maneuver these trucks get them into places you used to not be able to it's really impressive and i think it's super important so that's something that's really cool i'm trying to think of some other stuff i wanted to go over you know a lot of this stuff i've gone over in my previous videos but i'm just going to kind of show you anyway um 
if you look up here, you've got your twin panel moonroof. So this has been standard equipment on the Limited for the past couple of years. You can see this piece of glass here is actually, it moves. And then this piece back here is going to stay static. So it's a one touch. It just falls back and away. There's also a big sunshade that comes from the back and comes all the way up. So if the, you know, if you're in the, out in the Grand Canyon area or something, and the sun's beating down on you, you can just close this wind, this shield here. Um, and they'll kind of protect you from the UV and kind of keep you a little bit cooler. Upfitter switches are here. If you've got LED strobe lights, they call them wig wags, you know, uh, you can pre-wire them to these controls here. And that lets you turn power on and off. A lot of guys in our area, they'll put an extra fuel tank in the back of their truck and this controls the electric motor to dump the fuel from the auxiliary tank into the main tank. <coughs> Coming down, you got a 360 degree camera here so you can see all the way around there's a camera under each side mirror one in the front one in the back one on the back of the cab if you look here you can see my hand so as we back up it's going to give you a bird's eye view and it's also going to show you what's behind you so you can see it showing us which way we're headed right so it's automatically going to do that when you put this truck in reverse okay you can change what you want to see if you just want to see right behind you and that's it, you can do that. If you want to see a panoramic rear view, you can do that. You can, th this camera is called the, I think it's the CHSML. It's a center high mounted something lamp. So basically it points down into the bed of your truck. So when you're going to connect your gooseneck trailer, if you drop that tailgate and all you have to do is hit a button, your tailgate can drop from right here, but you can just line your gooseneck trailer up and go. You can even zoom in a little bit if you want to to get a better view. You can see this truck's got the fifth wheel gooseneck prep package. So this is going to come pre-cut on the gooseneck kit on the F450. It comes with a 2 and 5 16 inch ball and a 3 inch ball. So um, most guys have a 2 and 5 16 hitch, but some guys that are pulling really big weight use those 3 inch balls. Um, one other thing that I like, it's got like a trailer setting, right? So it will show you which way your trailer is going behind you. If you look, it goes down either side of your truck, right? And you can pan to the left or to the right. So this is really gonna help you backing up, you know, your 40, 45 foot toy hauler when you're pulling into the campsite. It just gives the driver more power and powers them to be safe and accurate with the payload that they're, you know, payload they've got in their bed, whatever they're towing, keep, helps keep their family safe. All these features rolled in together just make for an amazingly capable, comfortable, luxurious truck, right? So when I put this truck back into park, that's gonna turn off. Uh, up here, you've got lane departure. So it'll let you, it'll help you stay in the lanes when you're pulling. Uh, you've got hill descent control. You've even got an exhaust brake. So a lot of guys that are familiar with semi-tractor trailers, it's basically a jake brake for this truck. And what a jake brake does is it basically, I'm, I'm not a mechanic, but it basically is an engine brake. So the, the engine brake allows the truck to slow down without the pads being applied to the rotors when you press the brake. So what that does is that increases the longevity of your brake pads and rotors uh, as you're, you know, going through the, the life of your truck. Down lower here, you've got heated and cooled seats, right? Dual climate control. You've got your pro backup assist, like I was telling you. You've got your trailer brake controller here. You've got your four wheel drive shift on the fly. If you want to put this truck in four high, you just twist that knob and bam, you're in four wheel drive and ready to go. Um, one thing they've another thing they've changed up here they've got drive modes now on these super duties so that's something that they did in the f-150s they've brought it into the super duty segment so when i hit this button here you're going to see drive modes i can go from normal to tow haul to an eco mode believe it or not slippery and deep snow and sand so it'll when you go to one of these off-road modes it'll automatically shift you into four-wheel drive it's pretty slick uh there's a driving mode for any condition sure it works great don't have any personal experience with it just yet this truck's also got adaptive cruise control so you can say hey i want to be running 70 miles an hour with my payload this truck will slow itself down speed itself back up depending on who's in front of you how far in front of you they are you can even choose how far you want to follow 
behind the vehicle in front of you. Pretty cool. I think it's a great feature to have. You know, you see it a lot more in these not so much entry level vehicles as the high end vehicles. So that about does it for the interior. Uh, I'm going to let you guys in the comments, you can ask me any questions or anything. I'll try to get back with you and just let me know. We have a good chunk of these Super Duties in right now. We've got four F450s, four 2020 models. I've got two Limiteds, I've got a King Ranch, and then I've got a Platinum as well. So they're here, they're for sale. We don't have any dealer fees, there's no dock fees. Uh, there's a thousand dollar rebate out on these right now. Now that depends on where you live, but every zip code that I've looked at, there's a thousand dollar rebate. So um, no dealer fees, no dock fees, no smoke, no mirrors. We're right off I-65. We're like 30, 45 minutes north of Nashville, depending on where you're at in Nashville, right off exit six. So if you've got any questions or comments or concerns or anything like that, drop us a line. I'll put my 1-800 number out here. You can give me a holler. Let me know. We'd love to have your business. We thanks y'all for looking and hope y'all have a great day.